Hi, my name is Rex Jones II, and welcome to Test Automation University. In this course, I will cover Test Next Generation, Test NG, a Java test framework. You will see why Test NG was designed for developers and automation testers who want to go beyond unit testing. XUnit is a family of unit test frameworks that consist of JUnit for Java, PyUnit for Python, NUnit for the .NET programming languages such as C Sharp. JUnit is the most popular test framework, but TestNG is the most powerful test framework. TestNG was influenced by JUnit so it adopted the same concepts, then added more testing features. Our lesson plan will include how to install TestNG. The steps are demonstrated using Eclipse, but IntelliJ is also compatible with TestNG. How to implement TestNG annotations. Annotations have a special meaning for methods in a class. After annotations, we will take a look at test ng assertions. The purpose of assertions is to verify whether our test passed or failed. Next is test ng attributes from the test class. There are many attributes, but we are going to look at the priority attribute, depends on methods attribute, and depends on groups attributes. Both depends on attributes help us to carry out many kinds of test types. Some of those test types are dependency, integration, smoke, and regression, which separates test ng from all other test frameworks. In addition, data-driven testing and cross-browser testing are two more test types that makes TestNG very powerful. Data-driven testing is when we store our test data, then use that test data as input for our test script. Cross-browser testing is the process of executing one test script on multiple browsers at the same time. Now, let's get started with Test Next Generation, TestNG, a Java test framework.